openly cheering for terrorism in Canada. Yes, it's true. It's happening. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. Did you see the video coming out of Ottawa on the weekend? People marching on Parliament Hill, chanting, long live October 7th. October 7th is proof that we are almost free. Long live October 7th. Long live the resistance. Long live the Intifada. Hey, joining me now to talk about this and more disturbing uh, images, sights, sounds from the weekend in Ottawa, Sun columnist Warren Kinsella. Warren, um, th the mask is off. There, there's no hiding that the people out there chanting long live October 7th are supporting Hamas. They're cheering on the terrorist attacks that happened on October 7th. And just, you know, to remind people, on October 7th, 2023, 1,200 men, women, children, and babies, and not just Israelis, were killed in Israel by Hamas. Over 200 were kidnapped. Those are the events of that day. And here we have at our very center of government, on Parliament Hill, on Wellington Street, in front of the office of the Prime Minister, these people chanting their support for Hamas and chanting their support for October 7th. It's something I never thought I'd see in my lifetime. And it wasn't just a one-off. And this is something I tried to make clear in my column. Um, I'm going to play another clip. And this was posted to one of the, the Palestinian groups that were there. Um, and they're all posting and reposting. I forget which one it is, but you'll see on the screen. Uh, they posted someone talking about how strong the resistance has been for the last 196 days. Here it is. 196 days and our resistance is still standing strong. Now, Warren, what was 196 days prior to Saturday? Saturday, October 7th. So, again, another instance of clearly cheering on terrorists. I keep being asked, is this against the law? It is against the law. You know, I've got a column. You've written about it, what took place in Ottawa, and I wrote about it in the pages of the Toronto Sun this morning. It is willfully promoting hatred against an identifiable group. It is lending support, rhetorical or material support, to a listed terrorist entity. Both of those things, Brian, are crimes under the Criminal Code of Canada. They are crimes happening feet from the window of the office where Justin Trudeau and his staff work, and yet nothing happens. And that is extraordinary and deplorable. You know, and my column today, at least with Pierre Trudeau, you know, love him or hate him, when terrorism and advocacy as terrorism is taking place in Canada, uh, he acted. His son has not. Well, it's shameful that um, back when the convoy happened and there was uh, one Confederate flag seen and one Nazi flag that didn't even make it to the uh, protest proper, but someone caught a photo of it off to the side, well, politicians all over the place denounced it. They denounced it for months. Uh, Justin Trudeau even stood up in the House of Commons and linked Melissa Lansman, a Jewish woman and MP, to people waving swastikas. Uh, just so that he could score political points. It, it took him two days to put out a post on X that wasn't all that strong. Um, I don't recall him denouncing these protests before. Perhaps he has, and I've forgotten. There's so many protests. But the, as you say, that happened under his office window. On Sunday, before he had denounced it, they were marching in the streets of Toronto demanding that all political prisoners in Israeli jails be released, and they were holding them up as heroes. There's a lot of convicted terrorists in that group. Again, material support, rhetorical support for terrorism, and this guy acts as if he's just denouncing somebody that said something bad. No, and you know, it, like, he needs to do more. Like, the, the attacks on a synagogue in, in Toronto on the weekend, even the National Council of Canadian Muslims denounced it. And Trudeau has said nothing. Like, we really need, he needs to step up his game. He has authority here. You know, the premiers have authority of the prosecutors and, um, you know, whether charges get laid of a certain type. The mayors have authority over the police forces. But the authority over the criminal code is solely belongs 
to Justin Trudeau, whoever happens to be prime minister. And the laws are there, you know, the resources are there to ensure that this anti-Semitic crime is not happening and is punished in our country. But it's not taking place. There has not been a single, single instance where the federal government has moved against anti-Semitic crime in any meaningful way since October 7th. And that and, is extraordinary. And what I'm told is that police at the local level just don't feel like they have the support of their their councils, of their elected officials. They feel that if they do anything, they will be the ones tagged as racists, bigots. They'll be under investigation instead of the people chanting law and live October 7th. Yeah, and it's it's terrible. And you know, I think there's lots of blame to go around here, but there's no question. We've got the laws, we've got the resources. What we lack is the will. We lack the guts, frankly, and the leadership from people at the federal, provincial, municipal level, and with certain police forces to act against what is clearly a crime taking place on our streets. Well, uh, last I, I checked, Ottawa's Mayor Mark Sutcliffe had said nothing. And as we record, neither has uh, Ontario Premier Doug Ford. Last I checked, Ottawa was in Ontario. Uh, but neither have the opposition leaders who were quick to jump in and call on Ford to denounce the convoy. So Merrick Stiles has not commented. Bonnie Crombie hasn't. It, you know, those three uh, provincial leaders, they're all worried about a, uh, a by-election in Milton, where apparently Gaza is the main issue, both for the local liberal candidate and for the uh, the provincial leaders who are afraid to say anything. Warren, thanks so much for your time. We'll leave it there. Thanks, my um, friend. Let us know what you think. Comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.